Welcome back to WebCafe AI. We do daily ChatGPT and AI videos for your personal and business life. In today's video, we're going to be looking at ChatGPT's new feature, custom instructions. If you're not familiar with this feature, essentially what it allows us to do is to give ChatGPT more context when entering into new conversations, therefore expediating outputs and making them more effective depending on your use case. Before we jump into three different types of use cases for this feature, let's go ahead and see how we even implement this feature. To start off, currently this feature is only available for people that are ChatGPT Plus users and that live in the USA. In order to enable the feature, you're gonna come down to your settings here and we're gonna go ahead and go to beta features and then we'll hit that little check mark here so it's green and now we'll have the ability to start setting up custom instructions. Once we have set that up, we can go ahead and come back down here. We're gonna go ahead and go to custom instructions here and let's go ahead and begin. The first use case is going to be if we were a teacher. So in the first box here where it says, what would you like Chad to be to know about you to provide a better response? We're gonna go ahead and input, I am a third grade teacher who often uses ChatGPT to generate lesson plans and educational content. I wanna point out real quick, the other two use cases will be a software engineer and a fitness enthusiast. But for now, we're gonna start with this first use case being a teacher. And let's go ahead and enter into the next box here where essentially we're gonna tell ChatGPT how we would like it to respond for its outputs. So we went ahead and input it here. When I ask for lesson plan ideas, please provide them in a structured format, including learning objectives, activities, assessment methods. Also remember to keep the content appropriate for third graders. And then as you see here, this is going to be enabled for every single new chat that I create here with ChatGPT. I'm going to go ahead and switch to GPT-4 and then every single chat from here on out should be proctored with that custom instructions. Okay, so for every single one of these use cases, we're going to go ahead and structure it with very simple questions to very advanced questions to get the full breadth of what custom instructions can do. So we're going to go ahead and start here with a simple question and simply ask what is the best way to introduce the concept of multiplication to third graders? Okay, so as you see here, since we gave that context before with the custom instructions, we were able to get a whole lesson plan introducing multiplication, such as the learning objectives, materials needed, activities associated with it, and assessment methods. Okay, so let's go ahead and up the ante here. Let's ask a little bit more of a complex question here. We're going to say, how can I incorporate storytelling into my math lesson? Okay, perfect. So as you see here, we have the lesson plan to tell fractions. So maybe you could add more a more specific concept, but in this context, we got a lesson plan for fractions. And then we got the materials needed, the doorbell rang by Pat Hutchinson, papers, plates, markers, fraction worksheets, and then gives a whole outline on how you would proceed with that. I mean, this already tells me that this is pretty effective when you want to use ChatGPT for very specific use cases in your life. I had to now ask a more broad question here. We're going to say, how can I assess my students' understandings of the solar system without using a traditional test? All right, so as you see here, it gives six different examples, such as a solar system project, research presentation, journal entries, class discussion or debate, concept mapping, and creating a quiz. Okay, so this is pretty effective when pre-contextualizing as a teacher. Let's go ahead and move to our next use case here, which would be a software engineer. All right, so we're gonna have to change our first box here. We're gonna say, I am a software developer who primarily uses JavaScript. I often use ChatGPT for coding help and brainstorming software design ideas. Then we're gonna go ahead and change our second box here to when I ask for coding help, please provide code snippets in JavaScript, not Python. Also, when discussing software design, provide responses in a structured format, such as bullet points or numbered list. I'm gonna hit save here. Let's go ahead and create a new chat. Okay, so now that we've created a new chat, and we have new custom instructions. Let's go ahead and ask our first simple question here, which is going to be simply, how can I declare a variable in JavaScript? As you see with its output here, it's a lot more specific as if you would have asked this in general, ChatGPT would have went with more of a broad approach. But with here, we have three different ways we can declare variables in JavaScript and essentially taking into account we don't want any other types of code when asking these questions. Now let's go ahead and ask another simple question here. We're going to say, can you provide a simple example of a JavaScript function? Okay, so as you see here, we got our code in JavaScript and it also took into account the output we requested, which was either bullet points or number list. As you see here, it gave us a number list on basically the steps and everything associated with the code we just outputted. Moving up the skill level here, we're gonna go ahead and ask, can you show me how to implement a binary search algorithm in JavaScript? 
So as you see here, it went ahead and took into account our custom instructions here. It outputted the JavaScript right away. We know it's JavaScript and we have our simple implementation of a binary search here, along with the requested output of a number list explaining the code found within that JavaScript block. We could probably ask and proctor further questions in regards to that. But let's go ahead and move the ante here and ask another question. And this one being, how can I design a JavaScript module for managing user authentication in a web application? And this is what you got to love about ChatGPT and its ability to output code. Not only does it give us in a structured way with one, two, three, it gives us, you know, brief overviews of what that code means at the bottom here. And essentially just gives you like a general idea of how to implement said model, the user model, the hashing utility and the authentication model. Obviously, you probably want to get a little bit more complex when developing something like this, but this is such a great tool in the sense of really helping you get in the right direction when you run into issues. I think something that could pair really well with this would be the Stack Overflow plugin. Using these two hand in hand would be very powerful. Let's go ahead and move to our last use case here, which is going to be a fitness enthusiast to really show the breadth of custom instructions here. So we're going to go ahead and change our first box here to I'm a fitness enthusiast who follows a vegan diet. I often use ChatGPT for workout ideas and vegan plans. Change our second box to when I ask for workout ideas, please provide a mix of cardio and strength training exercises. When I ask for meal plans, ensure all recipes are vegan and high in protein. Also possible provide nutritional information for each meal. All right, so now that we have saved that, we have our new custom instructions put into ChatGPT. Let's go ahead and ask our first question here, which is going to be, can you suggest a beginner-friendly workout routine for overall fitness? All right, so as you see here, we got our beginner-friendly routine when it comes to taking into account cardio and strength exercises with day one, day two, day three, day four, day five, all the way up to day seven, and really getting into depth about the amount of minutes associated and the type of workouts with sets and reps. Follow up this question with what are some easy to make high protein vegan breakfast ideas? As you see here, it takes into account everything that we outlined before with the following suggestions. We got tofu scramble, vegan protein smoothie, peanut butter, banana oatmeal, chickpea pancakes, and a quinoa breakfast bowl. Breakfast bowl. <laughs> Let's up the ante here. We're going to say, can you suggest a weekly meal plan that is vegan and high protein? Okay, so as you see here, it took into account what was said previously and was able to give us a whole meal plan from breakfast to dinner and also encompassing snacks and giving the amount of protein associated with every single meal. Let's go ahead and ask another question here. We're going to say, can you design a high intensity interval training workout for advanced fitness levels? And there you go. We were able to get a hit circuit program here that encompasses cardio and strength training and gives the very specific increments of time associated with it and a quick description of what each exercise entails. Overall, this tool seems very beneficial in the context that you use ChatGPT typically for one specific reason or context. This is going to allow you to get answers faster and outputs a lot more effective. If you feel like you learned something, make sure to like the video. It's completely free and it helps us here at WebCafe AI. If you want to learn more about ChatGBT and plugins and how to leverage it for your personal and business life, check out the playlist at the end of this video as we're diving into all the plugins found on ChatGBT store and seeing how we can leverage every single one. But without further ado, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for tuning in. And yes, surprise, I'm an AI avatar. Make sure to explore more here at WebCafe where we demystify AI for your personal and business life. Until next time.